live video. I thought I would put another one of these videos together because it's been five years since I did the last one. Uh, the basic layout is the same, although uh, some add-ons have changed. So the first one that I think would be good to help uh, clear up your UI is Bartender. If you look at the bottom, I have the basic block here going from 1 over to E. Uh, you can you know, change the key bindings however you want in WoW. Um, but the first thing I recommend with Bartender is that you have, if you have 10 buttons, sorry, 12 buttons, one through six, and then on the other side of the screen, six buttons, that it splits the screen right down the middle for however many pixels you have. And I say this because you're gonna base all your other add-ons right down the middle uh, so that everything is symmetrical, um, just so that it's nice and neat. The other thing that Bartender does is you can set the UI size on different bars. So you can have a couple of bars. Uh, if we do Bartender and we unlock, you can see how they're all grouped. And you can move these groups around. You can have them stick together if you want. I have it not sticking together. Uh, but yeah, you can make the bars in any configuration you want. You can make them in a row going horizontally. You can make them in a row going vertically if you want. Uh, this is just how I happen to have them. You can even move the extra action, zone ability, and vehicle bars wherever you want. Uh, so really customizable. And when you're done, you just lock them into place like that, and they'll stay there. Uh, so that's Bartender. Uh, the next one that I'd recommend is Pratt. If you look down on the left here, um, I've actually separated three separate chat windows, actually four of them. Um, so you can separate what the NPCs say on the right. You can have general chat here on the left. Uh, this is our, my loot tab. If we look at the settings for the loot tab, only certain things are allowed to be set on the loot tab. So reputation, skill ups, item loot, currency, money loot, all go in this tab. So you're only going to see people that loot things, or if you got rep or a skill up here, um, and then this is system messages. Close this. So if we go to system messages, we could see that guild announcements, achievement announcements go here. What else? Nothing from general goes there. System messages and Blizzard service alerts all go in there. So anything that's checked goes in this window. So you can see what exactly goes in there. This helps separate things. If people are saying things down here, it will stay in this window longer because if a million people are looting, it'll show up in the loot window. You can look through the loot window. And then if you get, you know, system messages or part of, you know, AP, it'll go up here. So that's not even an add-on. Um, separating the windows is the fault in WoW. You can do that without using Pratt. Pratt just lets me use whatever fonts I want and colors that I want, and it separates them. Um, so I really like Pratt. You can even change the, what the edit box looks like. So this is the edit box down here. So you can change that to whatever font you want, whatever background you want. I put a solid black background. So that's Pratt. Uh, what else? Uh, sexy map over at the top right. Uh, you can change the whole map to be a square that goes in the top so that it takes up a lot less room instead of using a circle. Uh, that's all that really Sexy Map does. So you cram everything in the top right there. The other thing is you want to use up as little screen real estate as possible. So that's why you're cramming the map in the top corner. And that brings me to the next add-on is Khalil's Tracker. This is a quest tracker that you can collapse by hitting any key. You can, you can bind any key so that it collapses. So when you're in an, a fight or in a raid, you can just collapse it to get all the screen real estate back. Um, and same thing with the next add-on, uh, details. I have all the details down here. So when you start doing damage and it shows up over there, um, you can keep it in a small window and toggle it as much times as you want uh, to keep it out of the way. So if you really want to concentrate on a fight, you can toggle it, not concentrate on DPS or healing, and you know just concentrate on the fight. The next add-on actually is Shadowed UF. So Shadowed UF are basic raid frames. So if we open Weegors, you can see now that literally we, that uh, Shadowed UF is just these 
three frames, but it's really good at tracking them and it changes color as it goes down in health. So that's really all that Shadow UF is doing. It also has all of your little icons. So when we unlock the frames for Shadow UF, you can see all the little icons and where I put them, you know, your PVP icon, your party leader icon, your master leader icon, I've moved all of those. And same thing for the target. So there's that. So relock the frames there. And then the last thing, and probably the most important thing I have for my UI is weak auras. I have a zillion of these, with, really without exaggeration. So I'll try to turn these on one by one so you can see kind of how I'm doing this. Uh, so these two are when I have Beast of Wrath up. I have these on the side for Bud and Blue. This is when I have Beast of Wrath up with Aspect of the Wild. That's one layer of Bud and Blue's name, and that's the top layer. So you can see that there's actually two weak auras, one just for you know the white lettering and one for the red lettering. Uh, and then for my actual name, I think it's player name. Yeah, so that's player name. And then that's another one with a conditional whatever class you are, changes to the color class. And then underneath is a black shadow. So that's actually three weak or it's just for my name. And then you have the target name text and the background for that text. And then you have things like player health. So here's my health underneath my portrait and then a background for that so you can see it more easily. Same thing for the target and the target's health. And that has its own background. So you kind of get the idea of like all the weak auras. And you can see like there's a million of these I'm not showing you and they, they show up in different ways like this. There's like a special bar I have in the middle that shows experience and has the right power combined. So it, you know, it'll, it'll, when you're leveling up, it'll show you experience bar, and when you reach top level, it'll show you an Azerite bar. Another one is if you're fighting an elite, like you can put the the old texture back over if it's an elite, or if it's a rare, it'll turn blue. So that kind of a thing is pretty nice. Cast bars for every class. So the hunter cast bar looks like that, and will show up if you're casting anything there. So that's weak auras. Uh, another add-on that I have with the nameplates is Kui nameplates. It used to be, I forget what it was called, it was like five years ago, but I know it was uh, Kui nameplates, so if you have that loaded, you do KNP. So this is the screen for Kui nameplates. It has a tank mode, so if you're a tank, you can have the targets be green. So I'd recommend that. I think that's it. So that's pretty much it. So good update. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below.